we are all ready to take you down to Pine Ridge for another visit with Lum and Abner. Brought to you by the makers of Horlicks, the original malted milk. Here's some interesting news about Horlicks as an aid to travelers. Many of our friends report that on flying trips, Horlicks is extremely beneficial. It makes a light, sustaining, easily digested meal that tides you over till you land, thus preventing sickness. Often, because of its remarkable digestibility, Horlicks is the one food that can be kept upon the stomach. If you plan to fly, remember this. Remember, too, that for 50 years, travelers by land and sea in every part of the world have relied on Horlicks. It is convenient to carry and easy to prepare at any time of the day or night. Horlicks already contains rich, full cream milk and only needs to be mixed with water to make an economical, nourishing lunch or supper snack. So when you're packing up for that long-planned vacation trip, slip in a package of this famous malted milk. You can get it, you know, in natural and chocolate flavors, in both powder and tablet form. You'll find the handy, tempting tablets every bit is indispensable. They melt in your mouth. And now, let's see what's happening down in Pine Ridge. Well, tonight is the night that Lum plans to kidnap Abner. With Abner's permission, of course. You know, since Lum has been more or less ostracized by his fellow townsmen, he feels if he can make a hero of himself, he can get back in their good graces. So Abner must be kidnapped in order that Lum can make the rescue. As we look in on Pine Ridge, it is midnight, the time set for the kidnapping. Lum has carefully slipped through the night to Abner's house, and we find him quietly raising the window to Abner's bedroom. Listen. Hey, Abner. Abner. Wake up, Abner. <laughs> What's going on in here? What can I... It's me, Lum. For goodness sakes, hush up. Don't talk so loud. You wake up the whole house. Well, what do you want? What are you waking me up this time of night, Perlon? Wake up, Abner. You're still asleep. I've come to kidnap you. Come to do what? Kidnap you. Don't you know this is the night we're going to have the kidnapping? I don't know a thing about it. Go away and leave me alone. Abner, if you don't get up now, I'm going to whop you on. Well, what is it you want? Here, set up in bed. Come on, set up. <laughs> you mean to say you forgot about us planning to kidnap you tonight at 12 o'clock? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember something about it. But, uh, let's wait till some other time, Lum. I'm too sleepy tonight. Wait a minute. Where's a glass of water? Water? Oh, why, well, there's a glass sitting right there on the dresser. Yeah, if I don't give you a wet, now, I'll wake you up. Oh, 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 oh. Abner, you idiot, you wake up the whole... Oh, oh, oh. Well, what about you, Hart? Well, what'd you bite my finger for? Well, why'd you put your hand over my mouth? For? I was trying to quiet you down. Yeah, you ought to have been bit. Come over here in the middle of the night, down some water over a fella and waking him up. Well, we can't stand around here arguing all night. Oh, oh for goodness sake, what's that? Oh, that's your alarm clock. Well, shut it off. Grab it there. What's the thing doing going off this time of the night anyway? Why, I had it set for 12 o'clock so I'd be sure and wake up by the time you got here. You must be early. No, I weren't early. That clock of yours must be slow. No, it ain't neither. I set it by the sawmill whistle today. I know it's right on time. Yes, sir. Hurry up. Let's get out of here while we can. Wait a minute. Don't light that lamp. Put that match out there. For goodness sake. Now look what you done. What was that? Why you grabbed at that match and knocked the lamp chimney off my dresser? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Get back in bed, Abner. Get in there quick. Think out like you're asleep. What you call under that, Arnold? Shut up, you idiot. I'm hiding. Hiding from what? Quiet. I think I heard some footsteps out there in the hall. Oh, my goodness. Uh, stay where you're at, Lum. I'll fix them. Where's that gun of mine? Don't do that, Abner. Get away from that door. I'll find out who it is. Oh, pull up your hand. Stop right where you're at. Who are you oh, anyway? my goodness. Where are you now? I don't think there's nobody out there, Lum. Well, come on quick. We've got to get out of here now, sure enough. Well, uh, wait till I get my clothes on here. We ain't got time for you to put them on. Go ahead and jump out the window there quick. I'll bring your clothes. Well, Lum, I can't go out without no clothes on now. I'll tell you that. Go ahead and jump. I'll be right behind. Oh, oh, that's blame it. Why didn't you tell me that window was down, Lum? I forgot about it. Look out here I come. And for goodness sake, make that toll cash up. Get away from there, Blue. Hey! Dad, blame you, Hesha. Get out of here. Come on. Come on, Abner. Come on. Run for you. My goodness gracious. Dad, blame it. That dog will wake up the whole community. Well, not so fast now, Lum. Wait a minute. I think I hurt my leg when I jumped out the window there. Well, here. Give me your hand. I'll help you. Well, now, now, wait a minute. Here, you're just a dragging me. Turn loose. You're hurting my leg, Lum. Your leg? I've got a hold of your arm. I know, but it's a hurting my leg to run. Go up a little. Come on, Abner. This is the last time I'll ever try to kidnap you. Well, I hope so. Got me running around here this time of night, barefooted in my night shirt. Somebody see me, they'd think I'd lost my reason. Well, if you hurry up, nobody won't see you. Just about. Catch me. 
No more than just about what I'll do. Uh, you're too slow to catch anything. Well, let's sit down and rest a minute, Long. Well, wait till we get over to my place, and then you can rest all you want to. You won't have nothing to do for the next few days but rest. Reckon, could you carry me? Carry you? No, I won't carry you. Well, most kidnappers do. They don't expect the body to walk away from the house, much less run. Then if they don't have the fellas like you to kidnap, neither. If they did, they'd quit the business, I'll tell you that. I could have kidnapped a whole brass band and made less noise than you did a while ago, breaking that window. Yeah, and Linda Beth's going to be awful mad about that, too, Lom. Mm-hmm. She'll be so worried about you being kidnapped, she'll forget all about the window. Yeah, well, maybe she'll think the kidnapper done it. I hope so, anyway. What's the matter? Lom, I just can't go another step. My, my legs are just hurting, and these rocks are just a killing my feet. Well, you ought to put on your shoes. Here, slip them on right quick. And I doubt if they're gone now. My feet are so full. I'm just a good mice to sit right here. I don't care if they do catch me or find me. I never thought much of this hide in the first place. You had to make a hero out of yourself. Now, see there? Guess what I thought? Can't get them on. I know that I ain't a-going another foot. Well, we ain't got hardly 50 yards to go on, Dad. I don't care if we ain't got the 50 foot. I'm a-setting right here. All right. Here. Get up on my back. I'll carry you. Well, now, if you don't want... Don't argue with me. Get on up there. Stand here in the middle of the road or somebody comes along and sees it. Here, hold your legs up so I can catch hold of them. Now, well, don't strangle me for goodness sake. <laughs> I feel sort of foolish riding piggyback this way. <laughs> piggyback. <laughs> How do you reckon I feel making a saddle horse out of myself? I sure hope nobody sees us now. <laughs> Get them chin whiskers off the back of my neck for goodness sake. Uh, Turn your head, them whiskers are tickling me. Oh. This is a fine how they do. The justice of the peace and president of the school board carrying a full grown mummy like you around on the Well, back. yeah, wait a minute, Mom. Ain't this your house? Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, you're going right by. Well, you're driving. I uh, All right. Watch out for your feet. Now you got to go through the gate here. Now, undoubtedly, you can walk on in the house from here. Yeah, yeah, I believe I can make that all right. I still think there weren't nothing wrong with you except this laziness. <laughs> now, if I can find my key. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Well, light a lamp or something. I can't see where I'm going. Oh, here. Just follow me. Let me strike a match here. Yeah, you better. Yeah, that's better now. Let me sit down. I'm just going to it out. You're tired. Somebody see that lamp lit over here that time of night long. They think you took down sick. Yeah, we better blow it out and get to bed as quick as we can. <laughs> I know that there's going to be a lot of excitement tomorrow when Elizabeth finds that ransom note on her pelt. Wait a minute. Lom, did you leave that? Well, I'll be dead blamed. I forgot all about the ransom note. Oh, for goodness sake. They won't know I'm kidnapped. Elizabeth will just think I'll run off. Yeah, let me get a pencil and paper and write that thing right now. I don't know how come me to do such it. Here. Turn that light up a little there. Yeah, yeah. See, I think I better print it so they won't know my handwriting. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Uh, my dearest Elizabeth. Well, that's something more like a love letter, don't it? To the Witter Peabody. Huh? Now, wait a minute. He ain't a Witter, the witch. You're just kidnapped. Yeah, yeah. My dear Miss, how do kidnappers start anyway? Oh, I don't know. I'm just get, get hard up for money, I reckon. Figure that's the easy way to get it. I mean, how do they start their letters? Oh, I don't know about that. Do they have to have some special way of starting them? I'll just say Miss Peabody. Yeah, yeah, that's her name. Uh, that is her married name. We are holding your husband at the old mill. Now, oh, wait a minute. Better not say where we're holding you, had we? No. Just say we are holding your husband, Abner. Well, she know who it is. She knows my name. Just say we are holding your husband for ransom. Leave $50. Where can we have her leave? Well, it'd be handy if we just have her bring it here to your house, Mom. Huh? We're trying to keep her from finding out that we know anything about it. That's the reason I'm printing it. Well, she's bound to know that I know something about it. I'm the one that's kidnapped. I mean, we don't want her to know that I know anything about it. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. How about that holler stump down there in the fur corner of my field? That ought to be a good place. Yeah, sure, yeah, that'll be all right, yeah. See, what have we got here? We are holding your husband, Abner, for a ransom. The $50 in the holler stump at the corner of my... Or at the corner of Rum Eddard's field. Yeah. Oh, maybe, wait a minute. Maybe we better leave my name out of it altogether, though. She might catch on. I'll have her leave her under the steps of the schoolhouse. I know that that's going to be just like Easter eggs, huh? Trying to find a $50. No, sign. Whose name are we going to sign to her now? 
Yeah. It wouldn't do to sign your name, would it? Well, of course not. No. No, we'll have to make up a name of some kind. How about John Doe? John Doe. That don't sound much like a kidnapping on him, but you definitely find him in legal papers. Ought to have a fancy sounding name like, uh, uh, Captain Kidd, the kidnapping kid. Picture uh, sign it X. I don't know that I ever heard that name, just X. Or the Black Hand. That's a good kidnapping name. Yeah. Yeah, I can draw a picture of a skull and crossbones and dagger and ace of spades and all that stuff on it. Yeah, that's the time, yeah. Well, now the next thing is how are we going to get it over there? Wouldn't do for me to take it over there. I might get kicked. Well, I know I ain't going back over there barefooted. No, no, I couldn't let you go over there anyway. If I could just slip in there without nobody seeing me, but I'm afraid we made so much noise a while ago, they're all awake with this kind. How in the world Elizabeth and Pearl slept through all that wreck this morning, I can see. Well, Elizabeth and Pearl wasn't there, you know, Mom. Wasn't there? No, I meant to tell you what a good night we picked out to have the kidnapping. Aunt Charity Spears is down sick, and they're both sitting up with her all night. Well, I uh, swan to... Had us slipping around there trying to keep from waking nobody up, and we could have just walked right out the front door. Yeah, sure we could. Well, why in the world didn't you say something about it? I don't know. You was doing the kidnapping. I just never wanted to butt in. Go on, Abner. I just said that blame disgusted with you sometimes. <laughs> well, if the old fellow's plans were successful, it was simply because there was nobody home tonight. <laughs> and now... Here's something of special interest to the thousands of listeners who use Horlicks to help promote quick, sound sleep. Maybe some of you read about it recently. How a scientist at a well-known university discovered scientifically that the partaking of an easily digested nutritious food just before retiring aided in reducing restlessness, acted beneficially in promoting sounder, more refreshing sleep. Science has now proved to be true what tens of thousands have always testified through actual trial. If you have any trouble getting to sleep at nights or in sleeping soundly, Try drinking a warm glass full of Horlicks just before retiring. It'll soothe you and relax you, you'll find, and help promote quick, refreshing sleep. You'll know just how refreshing once you've tried it, because you'll wake up so much brighter, more refreshed next morning. Try it. You can get Horlicks in either natural or chocolate flavor. This is Carlton Brickert, speaking for Lum and Abner and Horlicks, who now bid you all goodbye until tomorrow at the same time.